Hi, this is Ryan Morehead with Scout Air Guns, and in this technical video, we're gonna show you how to check the battery level in your Epic, as well as charge your Epic air rifle. Uh, first things first, you wanna make sure that the gun is in a safe position, so I'm going to open the cocking lever, remove the magazine, and as well as make sure that the air is vented out of the tank. So I turn that quarter turn, I have no air coming out, so my tank is empty. If you feel safer removing your tank after that, feel free, but um, in most cases you don't need to do that. First thing first with checking your battery level is turning the air rifle on. To do that you have two options. You can either press and hold this power button for three seconds or double tap. I prefer the double tap so I'm going to do that now. Powering on. Welcome to the Epic Experience. Firing mode. Match. Battery level 60%. So you have a visual readout uh, with bars for the battery, but you also have an audible readout. This uh, air rifle is at currently at 60%, and I'm gonna show you how to top that off and get it to 100. In order to charge your battery, there are only two things you need, a 532nd Allen key and the USB-C cable that's provided with your Epic package. Uh, we're gonna be removing these two visible screws here, and then from there we can access the charging port. With the board off and the gun in a safe mode, we're gonna now remove the two screws holding on the grip frame cap. And that's with the 532nd Allen key. And there is an Allen set provided with your Epic Air Rifle. Once this cap is removed, you can see that there's actually pockets that's holding the grip in place, so that is why you have to remove that cap. Uh, from there, you remove the back strap, and there's a small tab on the back of the grip. You lift that up, pull it back and down. From there, uh, you can remove the palm swells just to get them out of the way. And the next is to remove the actual rubber grip. This, I like to pull from the back, lift it up slightly, and pull down while I do it. You don't wanna pull straight up because there are also locating tabs that slide up into the base of the grip frame. So if you pull straight up, you risk damaging those. So once again, when you do that, you wanna pull up and down. Once that's popped off, you expose the USB-C connection. And when I charge this, you're gonna see that it lights up blue indicating that it is indeed charging. So the most important thing when installing the grip is actually the top clip that clips into this frame hole. You want to start with it low and then slide up into it. If you have it flush originally and then push down, you could damage that. So we're going to put this on. I'm going to find the location hole, put it in, and then slide up. So to know that your grip's on right, you want to look and make sure that it's flush against the frame and flat against it as well. And it is in here, all the tabs are in their correct pockets, so we can proceed from there. Once the grip panels are back on, you can go ahead and uh, reinstall your grip base. Uh, to do that, you want to make sure that these holes go on top of these slots. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that on. From there, I put my 532nd Allen keys back in and tighten them down. Now it's time to reinstall your palm swell. The Epic actually comes with three different sizes, so pick the one that fits most comfortably in your hand. Uh, the left-hand side of the palm swells are marked with L1, L2, and L3, uh, increasing in size from smallest to largest, and the right hands R1, R2, and R3. So personally, I like the smallest size, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick the L1, slide it into the left-hand grip cover, and do the same thing on the other side. The final step to when you have charged your battery and or replaced your palm swells is to reinstall your back strap. To do that, the first thing you do is you locate this post and you're gonna slide it up into this uh, machined hole in the grip frame. So I'm gonna start by pushing the up and in. That's firmly in place now. And from there, I push in the back until it clicks into place. And now the entire grip frame is back together and solid and ready to go. Thank you for watching this video on how to charge your Scout Epic. For more content, please follow our YouTube channel.